In today's video, I am going to make fried catfish with some shrimp. The colossal shrimp. And all my ingredients will be below, but I'm going to use onion powder, garlic powder, red hot wings, which is Frank hot sauce, black pepper, Kanye pepper, and paprika. Plus to have mustard, but we don't have mustard. So we have this, it's like mayonnaise and mustard, cornmeal, flour, also two eggs. So you got your mustard, your all-purpose flour, your two eggs, your cornmeal, and all your other seasonings, which we would measure out. And of course I need salt, I don't know. It doesn't say salt in my ingredients, but we're gonna use it anyway. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna put one tablespoon of the paprika, the Kanye, the garlic, and the onion powder, and the black pepper in one bowl. Two cups of yellow mustard. So right here I am going to take my <clears throat> my two cups of cornmeal and my two cups of flour and put it in the bag so when I get ready to fry my fish I will put it in the you know the sandwich bag like they do back in the day and shake it around so it can get all the flour and the cornmeal on the fish. Right here is where I'm adding the second cup of cornmeal and flour because I read the instructions wrong, so I'm fixing it. Also, I added three tablespoons of my already mixed seasoning. You see that I was mixing it. I put three 
tablespoons of that inside the sandwich bag with the flour and the cornmeal. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is uh, dust my eggs open. Oh, show. I did wash my hands. I'm just gonna show it. I believe. First day of school. Okay, uh, put my my teaspoon. My put most of my seasoning in the bowl with the eggs. The mustard, two tablespoons, by the way. I feel like I'm missing something. Something's missing. Okay, I'm mixing the mustard, all the rest of my season together, and my eggs together. Let's see. I gotta hold the camera. Doing a little whisk so it can mix better. I forgot something. I forgot my red hot sauce. It's supposed to be a cup, which I can't find my measuring cup. Is that my measuring cup? Huh? Who's right there? Huh? Okay, so now I'm going to dry my fish. Sorry, my own. Take it and put in a paper towel and dry it. Okay. I'm going to take my dry fish and put it in the sauce. You got to get your hands dirty. If you don't like getting your hands dirty, this is not the meal for you. Shut up. Okay, so I am frying with olive oil, so you can't cook this fast anyway. I turned it on too high and now it's smoking, which is going to mess up my fish. So I'm going to let it cool down first before I put my fish in. Then it felt good. The, the belt was too small for me. I'm going to get it skinny. Right. It's not good. What? Why not? Because I can't put the belt. I gotta watch the diet. I'm gonna watch the diet. I gotta watch the diet. Why is that right there? Why is it 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 right there?
I'm not going to no water. That's not good. Can I eat it now? <laughs> oh, no. How can I eat it? When it's done. Is it already, is it done now? No. Is the last one done? No. I just started cooking. I didn't even put that in here. I have to come get that out. <laughs> that was the ice ball. That was it. He's already smelling so good, guys. Y'all can really smell it. It smells like heaven. So I'm going to let it cook for four minutes on each side. The fish all falling apart, man. I thought it would be like, if I cook it longer, oh, I'm sorry. If I cook it longer, it will be, uh, you know, a little harder to, and when you pick it up, it won't fall apart. But it's still falling apart. So, I'll probably do a voiceover, because I feel like I'm breathing heavily, and my face is close to the phone. But we already know I'm a big girl, so you know, maybe, maybe not. Maybe do a voiceover, maybe not, I don't know. I don't know. Look how creamy it looks. It's like a juice, it's like a cream. That's the skin from the fish. You know, cooking in there. Looking all lovely, juicy. I don't wash most of my dishes, but, oh, that's my head over. I can't even tell, the skin fell off. But anyway, so this is all I'm going to cook. I can't find my bread. And I did not get no french fries, Lord. So I'm about to make, give them like white pieces of bread. You know, regular bread. Be a little ghetto. But this is how it's looking for now. I will show y'all to finish a plate. You know, after I make my plate or my husband's plate. And I didn't even put no salt in there, by the way. I did not use the salt. I think that all that seasoning was enough salt as it is. 
And I, I don't know if I told y'all, but I didn't even use it. <laughs> okay, never mind. Never mind. Because I didn't use that either. You're supposed to use Creole seasoning as well, but I did not use that. And um, I'll tell y'all how it tastes without the missing seasoning. You know, every time I make a video and I'm like cooking, I always forget one or two ingredients. It'd be right there in my face and I still forget it. So like I really have to take my time, but this was a, another rush meal. I had to stop in the middle of my um, cooking and go get my twins and my uh, son from school. So that kind of pushed me off and I was trying to hurry up and cook before my husband got home because it's six o'clock. He gets home at like five, so it should have been done, and it's not. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna show y'all the end, and um, yeah. So right here, I decided to make fish fish sandwiches. Uh, we had no lettuce, and no tomatoes, <laughs> and he did not want cheese, so it was just a plain mayonnaise bread and a fish sandwich and i just want to say that the fish came out really good without the creole seasoning but i'm sure it would taste better with the creole seasoning and probably a little salt but it was still good and the shrimp were really good as well it wasn't spicy at all if you were thinking that it was not spicy but you can't take my word because i love spicy food so but my daughter ate and she don't like spicy food and she said that she did not taste any spiciness. So right here, I'm, I am putting the fish on the paper towel because I cooked it in the oven some more because it was falling apart. So I felt like it just wasn't ready. So I put it in the oven on 350 for like five or 10 minutes. So I was just like draining the grease so I could put it on the sandwich. And this is how this sandwich is looking. This is for my husband. He had two and I gave him some chips. He was so upset that I forgot to get him some shrimp. So we had to hear about that for 24 hours. <laughs> I mean, where the fuck should I really even start? I got hoes that I'm keeping in the dark. I got my niggas cross the street living large. Thinking back to the fact that they dead. Thought my raps were the facts that they sat with the bars. I got two phones, one need a charge. Yeah, they twins, I can tell they ass apart. I got big packs coming on the way. I got big stacks coming out to save. I got Lil Max with me, he the wave. It's a big gap between the...